Hey everybody, for a little over a year now, I've been working to build a collection of uh, nice books, nice collections of certain comic runs and otherwise. Now, I still need to sort my more traditional books and the floppies, but as I just take you a quick, take you through a quick tour here of the collections I have so far and how I have it set up. Some things are gonna change here in the coming year, but this is how it stands right now. So up top we have my one uh, Artist Select Edition, Artist Select Series. It's a Iron Man one signed by Bob Layton. Uh, Giant Size X-Men, tri Tribute to Cochrane, uh, The History of the Marvel Universe. Very handy if you actually want to know what's going on in the Marvel Universe. It's not necessary reading, but it certainly helps. My Absolutes, Dark Knight, Killing Joke, All-Star Superman, New Frontier, Copy of Wednesday Comics, My Donald Duck, Carl uh, and Uncle Scrooge, Carl Barks. The ones I have by Don Rosa. And the boom edition of The Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck. Over on the other side of the top here, we have our Dark Horse Library editions, which include the Hellboys. I read a lot, so a lot of them are in plastic still. I just got them. Black Hammer, followed by Critical Role Legends of Vox Machina, or Vox Machina Origins. <sighs> the Darwin Cook Parker Martini Edition, the In the Shadow of No Towers by Art Spiegelman, and the Bone All in One Color. All right, <clears throat> Marvel. We begin with the Fantastic Four, because of course, if you're going to do a Marvel collection, you begin with the Fantastic Four. We got Stan Lee and Jack Kirby's run, both John Byrne, Wayne Waringo. Uh, this is the, I have some more stuff, you know, Fantastic Four stuff on the way, but that's pretty much all the stuff I can get my hands on. Over the years, uh, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, kind of a little bridge point here. I don't have all the Stan Lee Spider-Man stuff because it's not all in print currently. I only have two and three. Death of when Stacy's in the middle. Here's where. Gene Conway was on the book for Volume 5. The Roger Stern Omnibus. Bigliney McFarlane. Where Todd McFarlane had his own book. Bigliney and Eric Larson. This one hard copy of Return of Sinister Six I just really like and never want to throw away. Son of the Goblin. Little Trade. Untold Tales of Spider-Man. Return of the Goblin, a uh, story I've always really, like, really liked. And the latter half of the JMS uh, Spider-Man run. First omnibus is going to be reprinted this year, so I'll crack them both open. I've read, I've read it all before, but I'll reread them when the uh, first volume comes out. Second row... Here we go with our Daredevil. Need to get more Daredevil. The Frank Miller Companion, which has Born Again, and Man Without Fear. Avengers by Byrne. The Gathering. The second volume of the Busick Perez. They're gonna reprint the first edition this year again. Some Iron Man. More Iron Man, Thor, especially the Walt Simonson. <laughs> if 
if you read Walt Simonson Thor and you say, I don't like Thor, you don't need to reread any more Thor. You are <laughs> Brubaker Cap. One little thing of the Black Panther. More Black Panther is going to be printed out this year. She-Hulk. Because She-Hulk gets top billing in this house. Before the Hulk, which I only have volume two and three of Peter David's run. The first one is being reprinted and the fourth volume hasn't come out. And we got some Guardians, Ghost Rider, classic Silver Surfer, Next Wave, Loki, Scarlet Witch, Infinity Gauntlet, the like. Bottom here. We've got our uh, little X section. Uh, we've got Dark Phoenix Saga, Kenny Volume 3 and 4, Mutant Massacre. Also got X Factor, Alias I put there for some reason. Uh, Ultimate Universe stuff, and Star Wars Dr. Afra. And below there is Earth X sitting by itself. Because I hate Earth X, and I'm probably going to outright sell it. It's the only thing I went out of my way to go and find that I that actually made me angry reading it. DC! <laughs> Moving right the hell along. DC. All right. First three volumes of Man of Steel, Superman in Exile, some more Superman stuff, Generations, Superman, Batman, Omni, Volume 1, Death in the Family, my deluxe edition of The Killing Joke, I have, yeah, I guess I double for that, Arkham Asylum, Batman Ego and other stories. Uh, Long Halloween, Dark Victory, the Paul Dini Omnibus, some more Batman, Batman, Batman. Then we've got some Wonder Woman, including the Brian Azzarello run. We're going to get more Wonder Woman in here. Uh, the Hayaketa as well. Flash stuff, including the Flash of Two Worlds. Some of the Mark Wade trades. Why there's not an omnibus of this stuff, I don't know. And the Jeff Johns Omnis. I had the previous printings. This is new expanded edition. I will happily be rereading those in the near future. All right. JSA. Big three thick Omnis. A little bit of Green Lantern, New Teen Titans, my, if you're getting there, see I have some Power Girl, Power Girl's over there, Green Arrow, Mike Grell, a few odds and ends, Fourth World Omni, Starman, Spirit, my Hellblazer section, and Sandman, the thing that really kicked off this whole collection uh, movement was Sandman, which I hadn't read until not too long ago. I don't have all the room in the world, so we're giving, oh geez, put my finger in there, perfect. We got both volumes of Lucifer, the four compendiums of Fable, Watchmen, Transmetropolitan, we're going to get the Omnibus as a Preacher, so I don't have that planetary at the end there. And then to round it out, we've got East of West, Invincible, Criminal, Irredeemable. Bottom there, we've got some Atomic Robo, the Usagi Yojimbo, I'm going to get the hardcovers. I have the art covers of Atomic Robo on the way, so those will be being updated. And 
the Tony Schifani autobiographical graphic novel, or biographical, I think he worked with people. Black Sad, Meta Barons, a little bit of Judge Dredd, Harvey P. Carr, From Hell is in there. And, well, that is that. Have fun, everybody. Hopefully this wasn't too nauseating.